Hello. Welcome. So, yeah, this is a uh, this is Mega Man Nine. Um, I'm Serpy Ninja. I'm going to be I'm going to be playing this for the first time in some time. <laughs> so uh, we'll see how it goes. But yeah. So it's, I'm going to start with Pugman stage here because it's the hardest stage. And uh, I guess we'll count down in five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, let's go. So we start with the hardest stage just to get it out of the way, but I could do any stage in order. So, or any stage in any order for the first eight stages. ASMR percent, yeah. Well, I'm just really soft spoken, so. Is there no timer? Uh oh. Do we have to reset? No, this is no reset. Maybe we should. Oh. Um. Reset that level. <laughs> oh, it is the hardest stage. And it's the one with the Yoku block, so I have to actually hit block cycles on the stage. If I don't, it's going to make the last room very, very tough. You were in a, in a de-rusting mode, and, and, and then you start with the hardest level. I'm like, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, kind of kind of happens. <laughs> OK, so I'm going to shoot this guy. And then, oh, it looks like I'm not going to make this block anyway. So I'll just play it safe. There. Cool. Hard hardest level plus hardest, like, first day rule master stage. So yeah, we're definitely getting it out of the way first. Okay, that's called strategy. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Ooh. There. <laughs> so you kind of have to just dodges his, his pug balls which do an insane amount of damage plus uh, also dodge him as well <laughs> and it's it's definitely not easy but we did that so and thanks for the ggs and thank bucks 420 And then, yeah, we do dual stage next because it's the second hardest stage. <laughs> and at the stage, I really have to balance taking damage with um, with going fast. Otherwise, uh, the boss is just going to trample me. We don't, we don't want that. To the he's 
not a tough mini boss when you have his weakness, but when you only have a buster, it makes it pretty tough. And now I'm just gonna wait by the door here for the second cycle. Yeah. I, I really should have taken a damage boost there. I, I, I didn't. Oh. But anyway, we're 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 good now. So as long as I don't take any more damage. Uh, since you were talking about weak points, uh, is there any weak points uh, when you're using the buster? No, you're just grinding those bosses, right? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Just... No, no real weak points here. <laughs> Might be that Mega Man is, is the more weaker <laughs> because, <laughs> because of not having the, the required weapons to... You know, just absolutely destroy bosses like you would normally, right? Right. So, Jewel, Jewel Man's pattern like, he jumps when you jump, and then he just regenerates his jewels when, whenever um, he feels like it, I think. <laughs> So it's, that fight is like, maybe like two seconds when you're not doing buster only, but when you're doing buster only it's like, you have to dodge his crystals and make sure you jump when, when he's close to you, but not hitting you. <laughs> so it can be tricky. And now, now the stages get a little bit, a little bit easier. Not, not easy by any stretch, but you know, it's, it's easier for me to deal with, <laughs> if that makes any sense. And there'll just be like a lot of a lot of variation that I go through to make sure that I don't use any weapons. But you will see some weapon usage in the Wily stages just because you can't really avoid some things. Because Wily's a pretty wily guy. He's had really good traps that <laughs> you otherwise can't get through unless you use Rush or use like a laser trident here and there. But in those parts, I'll try to minimize weapon usage. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Ah, uh, no, 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 go ahead. Uh, no worry. I, I was actually wondering that uh, since you're not having, uh, I'd say, special weapons, or you only you're stuck with the Buster. Uh, I was wondering if you have, on the speedrun, you have to learn where you can uh, get or take some damages to go through some parts, as you were saying. Uh, sometimes there are traps that you're you're stuck in there uh, because of the fact that you only have the buster. So, oh uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. That will definitely happen. And then you just, you just find creative ways around that, you know? Deal with it as best you can. Are those are those uh, little balls here uh, RNG or they when, once they die they go uh, they split in four towards you? Uh, it, it could be random, it's, honestly. <laughs> it it's sort of oops, it's sort of uh they 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 kind of split the way that you hit them. Okay, if that makes any sense. Yeah, 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 it does. <laughs> It sounds like uh, it goes around what I was uh, trying to say, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Galaxy Man will either fly up, or he'll fly towards me. And I want him to fly towards me. <laughs> yeah, just Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just kind of at the mercy of this pattern. So I just want to get as many hits in as I can during his teleport. Wow. This is a 
really bad pattern. And there we go, there's one swoop. And... Okay, he's down. Because sometimes, sometimes he'll do four swoops in a row. That's kind of his maximum. And that's really good, but other times I'll just keep flying up like that. <laughs> Which this is a lot of time. I think I lost eight seconds. Yeah. Oh, eight seconds? That's much? Okay, okay. Yeah, it was huge. Because I saw it was stuck uh, at the top of the map, and, I, and then I was like, dude, calm down. Come on, calm down. We want, we want to kill you. Come down. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that's the... That's Galaxy Man for you. He... When, it, when he goes up, he doesn't want to come down. <laughs> yeah, he's stubborn somehow. Absolutely. <laughs> so yeah, these guys will just drop these things to destroy these platforms, and you just kind of have to know where they're going to do that. That was good, actually. Nice, solid three cycle right near the door. And I'm gonna shoot the scissor first because otherwise, if you're not fast enough there, the, the platform will just drag you back and then throw you into the spikes. Oh yeah, okay, I saw it. Right, okay. You don't have much times, right? Like three seconds or something? Yeah, you have a very short window to do it. So that's why you're, you go straight forward and you don't have to, uh, you don't have time to mess around and you have to go forward and, and quick and fast. And so, okay. okay. That's yeah, cool. it, it, it forces you through. Yeah, exactly. These bees do a lot of damage. In short, not the bees. Oop. Yeah, not the bees. <laughs> yeah, it was a gap. So, uh, they they went back in style for this game, and they they modeled it after Mega Man 2. They, so they remove the, the charge shot and the slide shot, and it definitely makes things tougher. And not the bees, oh not the bees. <laughs> oh, I like been, that one. I've been playing a lot of Elden Ring lately, so... <laughs> oh, not the bees. <laughs> I wanna go home. <laughs> um... And there I was about to say that, uh, why is there always... Um, <laughs> Why are there always bees? <laughs> in things, you know, it's always the same thing. Whatever games you're gonna choose or you're gonna play, if there are bees, they are the killing machine uh, in this game. So yeah, right. <laughs> um, I'm asking myself what boss I do next, <laughs> but I can do I can do any boss that I want. <laughs> Oh, you just finished Elden Ring right on. Skeletons, spiders, bees. <laughs> oh, why is it always bees? So I wanted to spawn that bird from the left, which I did. Exactly, it's like a it's like a choose your own adventure. book where you are the, e the hero so you build your own adventure right <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> so there's lots of mashing here mm -hmm. to get to the elephant mini boss i 
Oh yeah, no worries, it's a gab. Like for, for Mega Man 7 and 8, they went to... I think 16-bit. And then yeah, they, they dialed that back for, for Mega Man 9 to be more classic style, and 10 actually. Okay, so they went to uh, they went they went back to basic, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Back to basics. No slide. No charge shot. Eight bit mode. Like all the music is like adhered to NES standards. This guy just want to hit him every twenty frames because that's how many iframes he has. Also, nine, 9 has Proto Man as well. He's DLC. Um, he takes double the damage and double the knockback, so it's very tough to play as Proto. I'll be honest with you, every time I hear that, uh, actually, every time you have to uh, button mash, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, you should see my hair. They're going straight up, and then I'm I'm I'm, I'm kind of go go press it hard. All right, <laughs> it's my my crazy side that I like to hear uh, button mashing. To be honest with you, and and you're good at it, so I'm like really enjoying the moment. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> I wasn't always good at button ma button mashing, but then I played this game a lot. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, so this is a uh, Slash Woman, which is a uh, yep the uh, the first I guess female robot master, but her her weakness is bees, but um we we don't get to use that weakness. And this, this bubble room is uh, inspired after Mega Man 5, actually. The, the director of this game really liked Mega Man 5 as a kid. So he took a lot of inspiration from it. As far as I remember reading. Exactly, yeah, it's very similar to Wave Man's age, except... Almost a little bit easier, because the bubbles have a little bit more time for standing on them. Even the small ones too. Oops. Yeah, let's let's, let's get to 8k. That's great. Really good cause, so. So let's go. Oh, if there's any donations you need to read, by the way, just just let yeah, me know. Sure. I'll let you know. Uh, so far, so good. We are still uh, on. We, we don't have any donations for now, but uh, we are we are still having pin wars uh, coming on, guys. As you can see on on the the stream, uh, there is a uh, choose mode for Star Fox 64, which is the screen mode and expert mode. So go ahead. Uh, every donation that goes through there, uh, let's let's make it win. Actually, I know it. There, there's no loser in all this, but still. <laughs> <laughs> let's get let's get on with this and there is still mystical ninja we have to choose a language between english and japanese so let's get ahead let's get some donation in here so we could um so we could get on with these um to answer uh the question here that what is a uh, screen mode as far as i heard and understood it's a mode where uh they change the voices of the characters when they start screaming into the game they change it all to something different so it could be really funny in the end <laughs> that's that's hilarious yes it is I i'm waiting for it actually <laughs> so yeah i can get in those donations to see that because that sounds amazing <laughs> let's go that and we are 15% away of our tier five uh, 
<laughs> I like the way they wrote it down. It's the nine delicious circles of hell. <laughs> the hot sauce, guys. Uh, so let's get let's get some donations down so we can we can go to the tier five. I think I think we're heading to uh, six nine thousand on these Coville uh, charts. So um, wow. yeah, let's That's let's spicy. get them some good times and 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 so on. Absolutely. If you want to see them get spicy. Let's get it hot in here, they say. <laughs> <laughs> that they do. So I'm going to try to one-cycle this dragon. I have to hit him 15 times before he gets to the edge of the screen. And I did. Which is just, that's like, that's just, just pure mashing, you gotta... It's based in a deeper sphere. <laughs> oh, true. Oh. I got, I got too close to that beam. Accidentally. Also very spicy. Yeah, also I like <laughs> Spider, uh... Okay, let's, let's, let's try that again. That whole stage, I mean. <laughs> it's... it's fine. I'm still kind of waking up here. It's, uh... I shouldn't be, but my schedule's kind of... weird right now. Oh, I got him right at the edge of the screen there. <laughs> all, all the mini bosses in this game have 15 health, so... So I hit them 15 times. Yeah, let's not walk into a fire beam today. It's always a good idea not to go towards uh, fire beam. Actually, I'm not used to this, but still, I know it's hot. So. <laughs> yeah, it's just getting spicy. Yeah, yeah, which is really funny. <laughs> <laughs> right. We're on the spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I want to go underneath Magma Man. But how many scopes do you think Magma Man is? <laughs> uh, at least, uh, I don't know, six million? Maybe a little bit more. I'm not that's sure. Really, that's really spicy. <laughs> it is. It is actually. I I, I can't tell you uh, at what they, where where the the chart goes to, but um, uh, I know it goes to millions. So yeah, I was just messing up with that. <laughs> that sounds sounds about right. Yeah. Sounds don't, like don't hell man, to me. man. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna be really in trouble. <laughs> if you're not used to that, yeah, you will <laughs> definitely. You'll, 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 you'll feel the burn. <laughs> Uh, you'll feel more than that. Maybe you'll melt, but yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it has to be. Uh, it, it has to be proven. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. So here you have to. You can't really make this platform. There's, the, there's no way possible so you have to wait for it to come back. It'd be nice if you could use rush, but because it's Buster only you. Have to limit your weapon usage to as little as possible. I'm so used to see people doing the platform at this uh, at this point, and now we're, since you're doing Buster only, I'm like, dude, I want to see how hard it is, and it sounds like a good challenge to me. Yeah. So these platforms, actually, when you stand on them, they 
they magnetize and they they like spin you underneath. So you just gotta be really careful. Ah, all right, okay. <laughs> I love the sound the balloon guy makes. They did the sound effects really, really good. Oh, I got stuck down there. I'm just gonna grab this health. I don't need it, but I'm just gonna grab it. <laughs> Like a just in case, you know. Better save this than sorry, they say. Yeah, especially doing a marathon run. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I was about to say. Yeah. You don't want to walk into any unnecessary fire beams. <laughs> yeah, right. You're you're looking towards to make a, a good uh, time and, and 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 a good session. So uh, instead of just uh, you know doing going backward and trying again and again and again, you as I heard and then as I understood. You're always better said than sorry in a marathon. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so the saying goes, but who knows, you know? Sometimes you just gotta walk into the fire beam or fall down on that chair. If it strikes your fancy. I really, really enjoy the, the Tornado Man fight. It's very smooth. Uh, it's easy enough, of, I'd say. Yeah. It's a lot of dodging tornadoes and then knowing where he's gonna fall. Because he usually falls towards you, so you wanna move away okay. from him. And, and not once... jumping into those spikes. <laughs> yeah, and once he fell, uh you were so close to him you just had to button mash and then i saw the uh held bar going down like crazy and i was like oh shoot okay this, this is this is good this is a good run yeah i wasn't even actually mashing during that fight i was just uh just having yeah. my shots for every every 20 frames okay oh crap i was wondering uh if you were mashing actually <laughs> cool <laughs> mm -hmm. those eyebrows though See, here's where, where I have to start using Rush, uh, otherwise I can't pass some certain traps that Wily set. Where, where it becomes Buster mostly instead of Buster only. But I'm gonna try to not hit any enemies when I'm, when I'm using any weapons, so that kind of... Negates it. Like I, I could use rush to, to jump up there, but instead I'm not gonna. You don't worry. You don't want to waste your uh, your energy for uh, for this. Only for that path. Actually, it's not so far, so. You... I'm not sure you will lose or gain anything uh, regarding times uh, at right. this point, but tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, no, no, you, you, you're right. I have, I have one cycle that dragon like three times this run. That's really hard to do. <laughs> I'm, I'm even in awe of that. So I just had to ride the platform into the, the teleporter here, which usually you just use Rush, but because it's Buster only, we kind of make that uh, like more complicated. Here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And no, no, Doctor Lightseed is just to find out it's Wily after all. <laughs> So here you want to have a nice consistent mash, kind of like a, 
kind of like spread rhythm in Contra. Other otherwise, they, they push these back, and you don't want them to push back because that makes you lose time. But for these last two, they don't push the spikes, so you can smash. This Hyperion Bull has got some nuggets, right on. That's the spirit. That's yeah. the spirit. I'll also be getting breakfast after this round. <laughs> um, actually, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I've ate saying. some. So you don't eat before the ring you run. That's not how it goes. I mean, you're... you're... <laughs> You don't eat before anything like sports and stuff like that. You don't do that because you will be like um, stuffed and you'll be slow, right? Is, is that it? Is that how it works? <laughs> well, I guess. <laughs> Usually you probably should eat before you do a speedrun, but because I just woke up, I uh, didn't really have time. <laughs> Right, well, that'll be a great reward at the end of the run. Like, eating is something marvelous, we know that. <laughs> that that's very true. Let's let this guy hit me so that I can fall on the spikes. And the flower spawned away from me, so... Oh, he's avoiding me. It's... Not gonna be a nice three cycle. Actually, you can get him in two cycles if you're really, really good, but. Or if he's nice to you. Typically three. I'm gonna grab the health here. Once again, better safe than sorry. Use like one trident, two tridents, three tridents to get rid of these blocks because nothing else destroys them. Timer for us, um, maybe. Yeah, we're on it. It just, uh, I guess, it just crashed. So uh, yeah, oh, yes. we're heading towards uh, for it. Run timer. <laughs> exactly. We're going there though. That jump is tough. If you're not like right on the edge, then you just fall down and lose time. And here's the uh, big shark. Or at least the tail end of it. Shark unless it, unless it comes down to close to me, and yeah. the gates will only open there when all three missiles are off the screen. All right, timer timer is back, and our bit wars uh, are still back on track, so we're good. And, uh, and I was a little bit laughing here because. Um, you were having another bus that was going uh, up and down, and I was like, dude, Buster only is pretty, pretty up hitting the ass at this point. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's part of the challenge, but still, <laughs> it's just it's just funny. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta jump the shark. I mean, jump at the shark. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, that, was, uh, that was close. We did it. And 
that's the left there. Alright, so one more to go before you go to the final boss. Yeah. So for everyone in the chat, the hype is real now for our last uh, Mega Man run. Uh, my, I mean, my last Mega Man run, uh, since we were having three Mega Man runs in a row, which is really great, actually, for those that like uh, the game. Now I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I enjoy Mega Man every, every now and then. <laughs> I bet you are. <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 it's a good time. I still like the game because it's it's really picky, um, and when you do it as a kind of um, if you do it as a speed run, it's it's really technical. And I was looking at a couple of things that are just uh, little things from here and there, but so important for the speed run. Um, yeah, I'm learning a lot. I, I know it's only been one run for me, and it might be your mm -hmm. I don't know how much run you've done so far. <laughs> Maybe a lot, lots, lots of run, but still, I'm, I'm learning. There's a learning curve that sounds to be a little bit difficult at, at the beginning but once you have it uh it, it's kind of just to put in place uh things that that, that you've learned and and strategies that you put on it's really cool honestly i really like it yeah yeah it's it's, it's definitely a learning process and you learn from others and you learn from experience as well this game is pretty much like designed to be speedrun so they really put a lot of thought into all the weapons and how they're all used and um and when you do buster only well you don't use any of those weapons. <laughs> but it can still be done, you know. Yeah, and I was wondering if it's a um I'm not I'm, I'm not sure if it's uh it, like I'll try to say it as, as easy as I can. Um I know that there are games that I've been created back in the days on NES and other uh, uh, console and they were not made to be speedrun and then uh, people make them make some speedrun out of them and then I was wondering if is it really something different or difficult or is it really different that there is a game made to be speedrun or it's it's better to have a game that people like do the game and speedrun it as much as they can Oh, that's a good question. Um, <laughs> I think definitely there's like good and bad things to both of those. So, like if a game isn't designed to be speedrun, then you definitely have to get more creative with your strats and what you're what you're doing. But if a game is designed to be speedrun, then there's like so many different ways to approach things and so many different you know, um, methods. If that makes any sense either. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 I, I was about to say it, it, it depends of from one person like to another. Just, some might like it, some might dislike it. And, I, and, and at the same time, I was asking my question. I was like, yeah, I think it's it's all about circumstances and, and people, but still, uh, it, it's mm -hmm. interesting. It's a good a debate to have about uh, the, the, the games that we have today, you know, compared to the game that we had in the old days. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is a really good um, point in the run for the debate because I had to wait for this boss so long. Every, every cycle you can get up to four hits, if you're usually at like three. Well, you have to maximize at this point. Wow, okay, it's tough. Yeah, if there's any donations, this is, this is the place to read them for sure. Oh, one more achievement, nice. I like what the, what I uh, what I'm reading on the chat. Uh, someone Gizmo's game lunch uh, lounge is saying one thing we can all agree on: uh, pause spam ruins 
the fun of runs. And and I'm looking at it as strategy, but still it, it's really interesting because I'm not into it. I mean, I, I'm not I'm not that kind of guy that will uh, know uh, if it's good or not, or I can't tell you. I have no opinion about that. I'm just uh, discovering something. So yeah, okay. it's, it's a good question. I mean, is it ruining the game? To me, it sounds like a strategy. It sounds part of the game. So maybe yes, because it, it, it breaks the it, it breaks the timing a little bit the, or the flow, but still, still. Hmm. Well, it depends because uh, in this game you can you can pause to cancel out your weapons if you have them out on the screen, so it makes some bosses a lot faster, which is a lot more fun. Like you can you can beat the the, the boss that I just did in like one cycle by doing five pauses to cancel yourself five times. So sometimes it is more fun, you know, not having to wait for like four or five cycles to, to beat a boss that you can do much quicker with a pause. Yeah, I guess it's all part it's all part of the mechanism of the game, so if like I like to say it it's part of the game, so you can use it. I know. I, I, I like the point of view, but since it's part of the mechanics, I'm like, yeah, go ahead, whatever you like. Uh, at this point it's part of the game. Yeah. It's, a, it's in the game. I think there's some game company that says that. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, you broke me. <laughs> <laughs> right? Not sure EA did invent that, but still, they used it. <laughs> yeah. And, and they're right, it is, it is in the game. <laughs> and if it's in the game, then you could utilize it for a speedrun or something. If it's in the game, you can use it. It's part of it. All right. So you can either like take damage and make that fight <clears throat> more dangerous, or you can just uh, or you can just stay in the middle and kind of shoot him down. But it is a little bit more faster to take damage. bees <laughs> yeah and i was looking at your hp going down every time a bees hits you and i was like "Ooh, it's almost like in one quarter of your health uh it's it's hard it's it, they're tough they do a lot of damage yeah i'm about to call this one mr scoville to be honest with you <laughs> <laughs> mr scoville mr scoville's not spicy anymore right <laughs> we uh we dust him in in Buster shop lemons lemons. I don't think lemons make things less spicy, but for for the purpose of the speedrun, yes. <laughs> I like that. It's more acid, but still, yeah. I like for the purpose of the speedrun. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah. It's not a bug. It's a feature. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Wow. EA Sports, it's a feature. <laughs> but you have to buy it because because EA, oh my god, I have to. <laughs> it's, it's a viable feature. <laughs> yeah, it's a new DLC, EA Sports, new DLC feature. <laughs> right? It, it's in the game, but it's locked. <laughs> The wily dino ate something spicy, and we gotta we gotta hit these avocados back into his mouth to make it less spicy. I don't know. 
it's like throwing back in his mouth. Is that what I heard? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it went out just to just put it back in, right? <laughs> yep. At a, certain, at a certain point, it's disgusting, but still, it, they are robots. They are mechanics, so um, it's different. Yeah. <laughs> it's a different point of view. The, the spice hits different when, when you're a robot, I guess. <laughs> I think I get the slow, the slow poke <laughs> because uh, I think I just hit overestimate. That, that's fine. This this is a pretty spicy fight. So this. This fight is where like a lot of players that play this game kind of give up because it's like head over heels way harder than anything else in the game, and it's already pretty pretty tough game to begin with. Thank you for the slow pokes. <laughs> I, I deserve it. My excuse, I, I just woke up. <laughs> oh, and I'm... Uh, the time is coming up. <laughs> The GGs, the slow pork percent. Yep, there we go. That's <laughs> no, just just one minute over, so it's probably the the one death in Flugman and uh, the unfortunate accident of walking into that that spicy beam. So thanks for the GGs, everybody, and thank you for having me on. Uh, this is a this is a great cause, so uh, keep keep getting the donations for the kids for the. Um, I'd say it was a hell of a run. It wasn't. It, it didn't look easy, and you, you, you. The point is, you weren't. You didn't look like someone struggling. You were like de rusting to me again. So I'm, I'm yeah, like really yeah, impressed. It was, by your it was a good de rust. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely is. Hey. And uh, honestly, it's it's cool to have you here, uh, Sloppy Ninja. I had a really oh, good time. You. You're a nice person. <laughs> I haven't stopped saying well, here uh, at the uh, at the HQ, I'm, but yeah, you're a nice. I'm glad person. you're here too. Thanks. Oh, man, that was nice, cool. And you you taught me a little bit about Mega Man Two uh, from um, from a certain point of view. Well, which is your point of view uh, with the buster uh, only mm. with a hell of a challenge to be honest the hell of an incentive and i i really enjoyed it uh thank you for your run thank you for yeah. participating i really appreciated it i hope we'll you see you me. again it's, definitely of course it's a Hopefully real pleasure someday in, in person <laughs> yeah one day in person you, events again yeah well i heard you've been at the dream hack so maybe we will have uh, another uh opportunity yeah i was at dream hack 2019 <laughs> There we go. <laughs> so maybe someday again, we'll see. I can go to the, the Poutine Fest uh, on top of the Olympic Stadium again. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, food truck fest. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Please. And Great. please enjoy it. And now, as as I remember, as I recall it, uh, yeah, I think it's lunch. It's uh, lunchtime for you. So it's, oh it's, yeah, let's go I, grab I a lunch. Huh? How about that? <laughs> yep. All right. You guys take care. Take care. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you, everybody, for being here with us uh, at the No Reset Speedrun. Uh, please um, be generous. Donate to the, don uh, to, to the um, to Les Petits Rois. And, 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 and don't forget that there are still bid wars coming on. And we are still having some milestone going up. Uh, we are 15% uh, away of the Tier 5 uh, Hot Sauce Challenge with uh, Ben and G-Virus. So um, it was uh, a pleasure for me to be here with everybody. Uh, they, I've been 
oh my god you don't have any idea how much it was so cool to do so um being a host it is something new uh, for me and i did it for the first time so uh it was the end of my run i'm giving it uh, actually i'm gonna give it uh, to my partner which is age turtles he will be there for the next run i really enjoyed this and i hope you guys are having a good time see you later guys we are going to a transition make sure that everything is set up for uh for uh for technicals and two and uh enter your time uh here so take care guys have a good night Thank <laughs> you.